Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn about properties of multiplication with complex numbers. First of all let us discuss the closure property. Now the set of complex numbers is closed under multiplication. That is, if we perform multiplication operation on two or more complex numbers, the result will also be a complex number. Now let us prove this. Let the complex number Z1 is equal to A plus B iota and the complex number Z2 is equal to C plus D iota where A, B, C, D are real numbers and Z1 and Z2 belongs to the set of complex number C then Z1 into Z2 is equal to A plus B iota the whole into C plus D iota the whole which is equal to AC minus BD the whole as iota square is minus 1 plus AD plus BC the whole into iota. Now as A, B, C and D are real numbers, therefore A, C, B, D, A, D and B, C will be also real numbers and their addition and subtraction will be also the real numbers. That means A, C minus B, D is also a real number and A, D plus B, C is also a real number which is of the form P plus Q iota where P and Q are real numbers. Therefore, Z1 into Z2 is also a complex number. Thus, if we perform multiplication operation on the two complex numbers Z1 and Z2, then the product, that is the result, which is P plus Q iota here, is also a complex number. Thus we can say that the set of complex numbers is closed under multiplication. Now let us discuss the next property that is multiplication is commutative in the set of complex numbers C. That is if Z1 and Z2 belongs to the set of complex numbers then Z1 into Z2 is equal to Z2 into Z1. Now let us prove this property. For this, let Z1 is equal to A plus B iota and Z2 is equal to C plus D iota where A, B, C and D are real numbers. Now Z1 into Z2 is equal to A plus B iota the whole into C plus D iota the whole which is further equal to AC minus BD the whole as iota square is minus 1 plus AD plus BC the whole into iota. Now let us find Z2 into Z1 which is equal to C plus D iota the whole into A plus B iota the whole which is equal to C A minus D B the whole plus C B plus D A the whole into iota. Now as A, B, C and D are real numbers and we know that multiplication is commutative in the set of real numbers therefore C A will be equal to A C minus D B will be equal to B D the whole plus C D will be equal to B C plus D A will be equal to A D the whole into iota. 
as multiplication is commutative in real numbers. Further, this is equal to AC minus BD the whole plus. Now we know that addition is commutative in real numbers and as B, C, A and D are real numbers, so BC will be also a real number and AD will also be a real number. So BC plus AD can be written as AD plus BC the whole into iota. Thus, from these two equations, Z1 into Z2 is equal to Z2 into Z1. Thus, we can say that multiplication is commutative in the set of complex numbers. Now, let us discuss the next property, which is multiplication is associated in the set of complex numbers C. That is, if Z1, Z2 and Z3 belongs to the set of complex numbers C, then Z1 into Z2, the whole into Z3 is equal to Z1 into Z2 into Z3, the whole. Now let us prove this property. For this, let Z1, that is the complex number Z1 is equal to A plus B iota, Z2 is equal to C plus D iota, and Z3 is equal to E plus F iota, where A, B, C, D, E and F are real numbers. Now let us find Z1 into Z2 the whole into Z3. So this will be equal to A plus B iota the whole into C plus D iota the whole. This whole into E plus F iota the whole. Further, this is equal to AC minus BD the whole plus AD plus BC the whole into iota. This whole into E plus F iota the whole. Now on solving this, it will be equal to ACE minus BDE minus ADF minus BCF the whole plus ACF minus BDF plus ADE plus BCE the whole into iota. Now from these two terms, taking A common, it will be equal to A into CE minus DF the whole and from these two terms taking minus B common it will be minus B into DE plus CF the whole plus now from these two terms taking A common it will be A into CF plus DE the whole and from these two terms taking B common it will be plus B into CE minus DF the whole, this whole into iota. Further it can be written as A plus B iota the whole into CE minus DF the whole plus iota into CF plus DE the whole. Now Z1 is equal to A plus B iota. And this complete term will be equal to Z2 into Z3. So this is equal to Z1 into Z2 into Z3 the whole. Therefore, we are getting Z1 into Z2 the whole into Z3 is equal to Z1 into Z2 into Z3 the whole. Thus, Multiplication is associated in the set of complex numbers. Now let us discuss the existence of multiplicative identity in the set of complex numbers C. Now the complex number Z1 
1 which is equal to 1 plus 0 iota is the multiplicative identity in the set of complex numbers C that is for every complex number Z we have Z into 1 is equal to Z is equal to 1 into Z now let us prove this now let Z is equal to A plus B iota that is the complex number Z is equal to A plus B iota where A and B are real numbers then Z into 1 that is A plus B iota the whole into 1 plus 0 iota will be equal to A into 1 and here B iota into 0 iota will be equal to B into 0 into iota square and iota square is minus 1 so it will be minus B into 0 the whole plus A into 0 plus 1 into B the whole into iota. Now here these terms will be equal to 0. So in the result we will get A plus B iota and A plus B iota is equal to the complex number Z. Similarly, 1 into Z will also be equal to the complex number Z. Thus, from these two equations, Z into 1 is equal to Z is equal to 1 into Z. Hence, 1 which is equal to 1 plus 0 iota is the multiplicative identity in the set of complex numbers. Now let us discuss the existence of multiplicative inverse in the set of complex numbers. Now every non-zero complex number has a multiplicative inverse that is for every non-zero complex number Z1 there exists a complex number Z2 such that Z1 into Z2 is equal to 1 is equal to Z2 into Z1. Now let us prove this. Let Z1, that is the complex number Z1 is equal to A plus B iota. The complex number Z2 is equal to C plus D iota where A, B, C and D are real numbers. Now we have Z1 into Z2 is equal to 1, which implies A plus B iota the whole plus C plus D iota the whole is equal to, now 1 can be written as 1 plus 0 iota, which further implies AC minus BD the whole, now it is AC minus BD as iota square is minus 1 plus AD plus BC the whole into iota is equal to 1 plus 0 iota. Now comparing, this implies AC minus BD is equal to 1, that is comparing the real parts. And comparing the imaginary parts, we have AD plus BC is equal to 0. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now solving equation number 1 and 2, we get C is 
equal to a over a square plus b square and substituting this value in 1 we get d is equal to minus b over a square plus b square where a square plus b square is not equal to 0 as a plus b iota is not equal to 0. That is, we have taken this for a non-zero complex number. Now, z1 is equal to a plus b iota and z2 is equal to c plus d iota. And by taking z1 into z2 is equal to 1, we are getting the values of c and d. Therefore, z2 is equal to c plus d iota, which will be equal to a over a square plus b square the whole, plus of minus b over a square plus b square the whole into iota. Thus we can say that for a non-zero complex number z1 which is equal to a plus b iota there exists a complex number z2 which is equal to c plus d iota and we have obtained the value of z2 and this is known as the multiplicative inverse of z1 and the multiplicative inverse of z1 which is equal to z2 is denoted by z1 inverse or 1 over z1 and next let us discuss that the multiplication is distributed over addition in the set of complex numbers c that is if z1 z2 and z3 belong to the set of complex number C, then Z1 into Z2 plus Z3 the whole is equal to Z1 into Z2 plus Z1 into Z3, which is called the left distributive property. Similarly, we have the right distributive property. Now let us prove the left distributive property. For this we will find Z1 into Z2 plus Z3 the whole. Now consider these values of Z1, Z2 and Z3. So this will be equal to A plus B iota the whole into C plus D iota the whole plus E plus F iota the whole. Now solving we get AC plus AE plus AD iota plus AF iota plus BC iota plus BE iota minus BD minus BF as iota square is minus 1 which is further equal to AC minus BD the whole by combining these two terms and combining these two terms and taking iota common it will be plus iota into AD plus BC the whole plus now combining these two terms it will be AE minus BF the whole and combining these terms, it will be plus iota into AF plus BE the whole. Now the product of Z1 and Z2 will give this value and the product of Z1 and Z3 will give this value. So this is equal to Z1 into Z2 plus Z1 into Z3. 
So we have proved the left distributive property. Similarly, we can prove the right distributive property. Now let us discuss some identities. The first identity is Z1 plus Z2 whole square is equal to Z1 square plus 2Z1 Z2 plus Z2 square where Z1 and Z2 are the complex numbers. Now let us prove this identity. Now Z1 plus Z2 whole square is equal to Z1 plus Z2 the whole into Z1 plus Z2 the whole. Now multiplication is distributed over addition in the set of complex numbers. So we can write it as Z1 into Z1 plus Z2 the whole plus Z2 into Z1 plus Z2 the whole which is further equal to Z1 square plus Z1 Z2 and Z2 into Z1 will be equal to Z1 into Z2 as multiplication is commutative in C that is a set of complex numbers so this will be plus Z1 into Z2 plus Z2 square which is further equal to Z1 square plus 2Z1, Z2, plus Z2 square. Now let us move to the second identity. That is, Z1 minus Z2 whole square is equal to Z1 square minus 2Z1, Z2, plus Z2 square. Now let us prove this identity. Now Z1 minus Z2 whole square can be written as Z1 minus Z2, the whole into Z1 minus Z2 the whole which is further equal to Z1 into Z1 minus Z2 the whole minus Z2 into Z1 minus Z2 the whole. This is further equal to Z1 square minus Z1 Z2 minus Z2 Z1 will be equal to minus Z1 Z2 as multiplication is commutative we will see plus Z2 square. So this will be equal to Z1 square minus 2Z1 Z2 plus Z2 square. Now let us prove the third entity. That is Z1 plus Z2 whole cube is equal to Z1 cube plus 3Z1 square Z2 plus 3Z1 Z2 square plus Z2 cube. Now let us prove this identity. Now Z1 plus Z2 whole cube can be written as Z1 plus Z2 the whole into Z1 plus Z2 whole square. Now from the first identity we have Z1 plus Z2 whole square is equal to Z1 square plus 2Z1 Z2 plus Z2 square. Now multiplying we get Z1 cube plus 3Z1 square Z2 plus 3Z1 Z2 square plus Z2 cube. Now the next identity is Z1 minus Z2 whole cube is equal to Z1 cube minus 3Z1 square Z2 plus 3Z1 Z2 square minus Z2 cube. Now let us prove this identity. Z1 minus Z2 whole cube can be written as Z1 minus Z2 the whole into Z1 minus Z2 whole square which is further equal to Z1 minus Z2 the whole into now Z1 minus Z2 whole square from the second identity is Z1 square minus 2 Z1 Z2 plus Z2 square the whole. Now on multiplying we get Z1 cube minus 3 Z1 square Z2 plus 3 Z1 Z2 square minus Z2 cube. Now the next identity is Z1 square minus Z2 square is equal to Z1 plus Z2 the whole into Z1 minus Z2 the whole. Now let us start with its proof. 
Now here we will start with the right hand side. Z1 plus Z2 the whole into Z1 minus Z2 the whole. This is equal to Z1 into Z1 minus Z2 the whole plus Z2 into Z1 minus Z2 the whole. Now this is equal to Z1 square minus Z1 Z2 plus Z2 Z1. So it can be written as Z1 Z2 as multiplication is commutative in C. So it will be plus Z1 Z2 minus Z2 square. Now these terms are cancelled with each other. So this is equal to Z1 square minus Z2 square. Hence, this identity is proved. So in this session, we have learned about properties of multiplication with complex numbers and identities. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.